Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmot Set, and welcome back to City Skyline. You'll notice there's something slightly different about the Fiddler's Crab today. What, this little area? Yes, all the water pumps have gone. We've now got a basketball court and a whole strip of a uh, nice little high side here. What we put basically? I put some docking in, all the rest of it. So, nice little small lane, so this lot will sort themselves out. What are you. What's this? Oh, you've got away. Apparently, we have a power problem. Yes, because that's not connected up. So let's um, move one of you offensively close to the shore and then stick another park in. Hmm, surprisingly large for a bouncy castle. Cannot build on water. This is the flooded symbol. Alright, so it's taking its time to sort out a little bit because... Oh yes, now I'm no longer pumping so much water from this area. The height of this district is going to resettle and sort itself out a bit. So, right, I'm assuming that wave has now passed. And I might be able to build... Is that going to ruin so much of this? Is there a smaller one? No. I don't think a restaurant pier is going to count. I just want a little building to stick in on the end here, just to transfer a little bit of the power. Oh, apparently we've got a luxury hotel we can build. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Come on. Crematorium? That do the business. Yes, it would. Done. Powered by dead people. Nice. So, I briefly saw when I was looking through here. Do we have any other new ones? We do. Colossal order offices. And a couple more down here. An aquarium. And service... Servicing services offices. Nice. So, we've unlocked a few new buildings in our previous little wonders and the rest of it, so we want to find a way of including them in our wonderful, wonderful places. So, push the button, push the button, so you are a luxury hotel. Wow, you're large. Okay, so we need to try and find space for you. Doesn't involve the demolition of too much of my existing sound, my existing area escape. Wow, that is a huge building. Hmm. Well, let's put it in the hotel district, shall we? Since we built this thing last time, Eagle Skies. Is there space for this monstrosity? Can't go that side. Well, I'm pretty sure I could easily stick it out here. Yeah, let's so stick it out here and give it a lovely view of the river. As we find a space where the slope isn't too steep. Bingo. So our luxury hotel has a lovely view of the surrounding landscape. Get rid of those last little bits of power line. So, what else did we pick up? Colossal order offices. These are the people who are responsible for the game we are currently playing. Oh, did I see a green flick? No, very unlikely. I saw a green flick. So these people around the area, these are, this is a leisure building apparently. They have much less leisure. Can we build the water, slip too steep. Alright, so the leisure effects we've got don't extend quite all the way out. Okay. 
but you would really screw up my road planning because of the sheer size of you. Even the fact that you would have to move the motorway. Wow. You're enormous. These buildings are huge. It's kind of annoying because I clearly have the space to put you in amongst this grid section. Just try to find out where. Okay. Quite the steep slope we've got. Um, hmm. <coughs> Bless me. Um, well, let's try and just have the minimum number of houses that we can. We take that out. Grab our colossal order building. We discovered that the slope is too steep here. Well, thank you, game. I just obliterated some decent and perfectly reasonable pathways for that. Let's put those back in. Yeah, okay, I admit it. It's a little steep. So we're looking at it slightly being, it's being slightly flatter up here in a high density residential area. There's a gap. I spy a gap. Nice. That's a nice big building. Next up we have not one of those. We have a services building. Servicing services building, also all kinds of services. Work. We another enormous building. Wow. See, I am low to take out some of my parks. How big is the aquarium? Yeah. But I am somewhat tempted to have a look at taking out some other parks. Increasingly thinking we should probably take out some of the parks. Hmm. Possibly not the graveyard, maybe, but I think. Yeah, I wonder. Let's um get rid of that road. Corpses. Put you in there. Actually, that's quite a neat fit. And then we will run our pathway around the corner there. And then I think... So that was the services services building, but the next one is the aquarium. I think I'm probably going to see if I can find a way of putting it down over in more towards this corner. So if we get rid of that. Can we fit our No defeated by the steepness of the slope. How sad. Bingo. Now, technically, we've got a gap in here, which we may or may not look at sticking another building in later on, but it was just offices, so I'm not immediately concerned. Look at that beautiful aquarium. Wow, it's gorgeous. To be named. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I came up with a name. Came up with a name. This is Men Ash. Three squares. S Q U A R E S. And enter. There we go. Menagerie squares. Exactly what we wanted. So, what's the other thing we'll be looking at doing today? Well, having pissed around with that, we're going to put in a new ledger district quickly over here. So, I'll be right back after I have had some tinkering and laid out the roads. Here we go. We've got an outer edge. So, what's this road in the middle? This road in the middle is how you get from this district to the motorway. So. Dies under, 
dives under, comes up here. So we've got access to the industrial district, access to the motorway going this way, access um, from the motorway. So comes up here, access from the industrial district, and access from this motorway. Where's the other one? Well, the other one comes in from over here. That splits off from the tunnel. Thank you, noisy people in the shops. It splits off from the tunnel over here and comes around. Grand. A little bit of power line I'm just going to keep for now because it just lets me get an extra bit of connection, connectivity over on here. So, zoning wise, this little bit strip I'm also going to have as high density residential. The rest of this area is going to be high density commercial. It's all going to be zoned, which I'm going to do now. This size tool. Well, I call it Sunset Park. But that's not true. The feather has its own distinctive shape, so I'm going to leave that be. Yes, there we go. Sunset Park. What are we going to call this place? Well, first off, let's give it the Leisure Speciality. Then we're going to look at our policies of the district. Park and Recreation, yes. Let's give you Recreational Use. Fixation. High density commercial buildings end up with their sales. Yeah, stick that one on for a little bit. Rest of it, no, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, okay, so we need to put in the more roads. So we want everything to basically spoke out from here. So we should probably start off with the same size roads we had before. And have that come out to there. Come out. Close the degrees to there. And let's throw an arc around to there. Right, so that's the core of that bit done. Let's go down to the smaller roads and have them split off accordingly. Could we get this any denser? No, let's have a bit of space so we can put some parks in. There. Yep, that works for me. Righto. Power. Pretty sure that will filter in, but we can always just drop a couple extra lines across. Water. So that bit done, the centre, we'll just come out a couple of points here and here, and fill all that bit in. Right, water's done, garbage, not to worry about, hospitalisation. I don't think we're going to suffer too much by putting a medical clinic right back in the middle of this place. Same with fire. At least you can actually get a slight knock on effect on some of the other areas. Don't need any education in the district. We will need a bus route. Let's just have it go round. Quickly like this. Yeah, you can put in double stop there, back down to here. There. Then you might as well stop there before you come into here. And grab you and have you double stop there. Yep, I'm pretty happy that it ticks all the boxes that you want. And you get the connect connection you want. Now we should probably look at let's give this place a name. I have no idea what it really looks like, so I'm gonna pick an animal at random. Hippo it's leisure, isn't it? Hippo happy. Hippo happies. It's all about making people happy with the hippos. Hippo 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 hippo. I said the word hippo too much, it's becoming slightly strange. Do we want a metro station 
in this area. Do we have a line that would conveniently connect up on it? No, we've got the great big loop line gets reasonably close. So what I think I will do is I don't believe I have a spare station anywhere. I will just grab an absolutely normal MTR station. We'll stick that in. I will connect it. Thus, I'm not going to bother replacing these stations. I'm going to put a very simple little short route in, just as an extra connection. Shouldn't get in the way too much. I don't really be bothered to change this into an extra. These two into double stations. It just seems like a lot of effort when I just want to do something short and simple like this. So we will grab this. That's our train line. Train line number nine. A dark red. I think I probably do have a dark red. Let's go with. I don't really want to go for the faded grey, so let's just pick that colour. We just call it HH shortcut. It's a tiny little line that's just going to shuttle back and forth. Shouldn't have too many vehicles on it just to connect up happy hippos. Do we have a bus stop outside of it? Yes, we do. That's close enough. Get you connected in the rest of it. Right. Yes, I probably could have run it all the way to Menagerie Squares. I don't really want to have to do the duck under over here. Or we'll have to rig this one so it flows into a station that you've got more platforms and the rest of it. I'm happy with that little shortcut. It'll just make people's lives a little easier getting back and forth. Done all of this lot. Now we're on to parks. Let's put a. We want leisure, don't we? Tourism. These all have visitor capacities. Okay. Sunken Plaza. All nice and small with a quite effective radius. A few of these on. Make sure we've got Japanese Peace Garden down at the corners. Uh, let's put one of the huge. Where's the enormous park? Yes. Stick that there. Grand. Shine and happiness and all the other happy words I like to use. And we'll probably see we're opening a plaza in here. Good. Right. So there currently no well, there is connectivity. You can take the M metro station where to go between the two of them. I'm happy with that. Do we want to make life a little easier and put a quick Halfway in. Yeah, we might as well. Come up. Cross the wire line. Coming down onto there. So we do have a half decent way of getting across the two of them. Let's um. Made that a little more rational, shall we? Yes, that's flat. But apparently, you can't get across that without it being such. So there we go. There's our slightly more rational bridge. So apparently, I have misjudged that a little bit. Ground level done. Shiny away from that noisy thing. Right, I think that's everything we wanted from here. Can't take along any more these. I have all of these that I want. Tourism specialization, okay. And leisure specialization. Alright, I was pretty sure I had a fair chunk of this. So let's high density this place. Do a marquee tool. Done. 
Nice. A little bit of housing on the corners. Overall, I think I am pretty happy with that. Done. Alright. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Animania. Today, we put in our new aquarium. We put in our new little grand wall. We put in our new services services office. And we have a grand new huge luxury hotel. Apparently, it doesn't have enough water. We're running low on water availability flat out. And you're also just not connected to the network because you are so huge. Or footprints outside of it. Okay, so I recently moved all of these, as I saw, as you saw at the beginning of the episode, so we can have a bit more space for doing things down the Fiddler Crab, and also further upstream, you're bound to get slightly nicer water. Still, we still need to get rid of our poop. Our poop is mostly going all the way around here. I wish there was somewhere else I could put our poop. I don't really want to stick it in there, that's quite a nice area. You're on fire, good for you. There we go. Bit more poop. We are quite quickly, I mean we are hauling water out over there, so if needs be I could look at potentially dumping some poop drop off here, but just kind of object to the whole thing of having to be made to do poop dumping in the way I'm having to. Kind of annoying. Put a dump of poop in the manner that I want to, and since we're right on the edge of our borders of our city, mm. not much more we can really do about it. But oh well. So, lots of people complaining about jobs, but we'll deal with that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Animated, and our Let's Play of City Skylines. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and leave any comments if you've names or suggestions. Bye for now.